Hey, it's Crowbytes. Welcome back. Weird stuff. Fighting games. That's the point of this show. Let's go. It's been two episodes now. You know what's going on. So Samurai Showdown. New one got announced. Hooray! I think a lot of Street Fighter players, really just a lot of players of fighting games in general, uh, no matter how competent they are at whatever game they've chosen, they're going to come into a traditional style Samurai Showdown game, and they're going to have some culture shock with the way that these games are built. Presuming they don't change anything for a 2019 audience, I mean, I can't predict the future. Maybe the new Samurai Showdown will be an air-dashing anime game. I doubt it, but you never know. The, the big thing that I think players are going to have trouble with when they first play Samurai Showdown is exactly what we're going to talk about today, which is canceling into special moves, or really just the way that normals function in general in Samurai Showdown. When you first start playing Samurai Showdown, you will be baffled at how bad everything is on block. Your normal, your, your standing heavy punch could end up being like minus 40 in this game. And the reason why it's like that is because Samurai Showdown is intentionally a very slow, footsie-based, methodical game and that's what I love about it. You may not, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I quite like it. And you might look at your character's frame data and think that I, did I mess up? Did I pick the worst character in the game? You didn't. And if you did, you probably just didn't know that Naka Ruru was bad. <laughs> and the reason why the frame data is so bad is A, to compensate for the fact that everyone has a weapon. Like, you're just going to be further away from people, so it kind of makes sense. You wouldn't want this move shown on screen to be... <laughs> you wouldn't want it to be, like, minus five on block. Could you imagine? But there's another reason why it's like this on block, too, and that's because you can cancel things on block that are not necessarily cancelable on hit. For example, Halamaru's A plus B. It is a very long range, very high damage normal. You really probably wouldn't want to have a combo starter off of this considering what it does, but on block it goes into a very specific recoil animation. Learning this recoil animation for your character is fundamental to playing Samurai Showdown because this recoil animation is how you know not only what moves are cancelable, but when to cancel on block. So Halo can't cancel this normal slash on hit, but on block, later in the animation, he can cancel it into special moves. And that forms the foundation of his zoning game. He has a decent fireball uh, from far range. He can harass you with this on block. And if you think, oh, well, I'll just jump it. Well, guess what, dummy? Halmaru has a... Uh, he has a fake fireball and you can just DP like a, like a zoning character should. Also, every character has a deflect, a parry, specifically designed to beat like people that just immediately press a button after they block a move. And as you can imagine, with frame data that's bad, you typically want to try and punish it, but are you gonna risk having your soul destroyed? It's a mix-up! Once you understand how it works, it becomes second nature. But Samurai Showdown definitely makes you play in a very specific way, in a very deliberate way, with your inputs. There are combos, they're not super long, and frankly you can more or less play this game without them because the game is so high damage on normal pokes that it's more focused around your footsies. It's as pure as it can get in that regard. There are some other mechanics, that's for another video. Really, this is, this is a PSA. Uh, about the guard cancel window in this game because it's so weird and I do think there's a lot of fun to have in Samurai Showdown. But you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for, for that recoil animation. And then, and if the new Samurai Showdown changes any of this, well, I don't know, I think that'd be kind of a shame because Samurai Showdown has its own charm because of the way it's built this stuff. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. Do you have cool fighting game news? Why haven't you thrown it at me yet? Also, there's a Samurai Showdown Discord. I should probably promote them. Uh, they're, they, they also play this game. Remember when I said that Samurai Showdown 5 special? God, it's a mouthful. It's a good game. Go play it with them. Put the link below. Click on it. Dang it.